and welcome to Final Fantasy for the After Years. Now, I love this game. A lot of people dislike it, but I personally love it. I am playing the PSP version of it because the 3D version that's out on Steam is missing a lot of content. They cut a lot of it out. Like, the there's nods to certain bosses from previous games and they're no longer in. And I want them. So, I'm going to be playing through... This game came out originally for phones, believe it or not. Uh, and I don't mean smartphones, this came out way before smartphones. And yeah, they moved it over to the Nintendo Wii's eShop. They sold, and this game was sold chapter by chapter. It's a really interesting concept they had for it. And yeah, I really enjoy it personally. There's a nice variety of characters in the game, as you'll see by this uh, intro here. But, uh, I do hope you all enjoy this series, because it is going to be a longer series. So we're going to see some old faces, as you can see, and some new faces. Just wanted to get this intro in. And yeah, so we're gonna be starting off with Theodore's Tale. Long ago, this blue planet was saved by the prayers of an entire people. Two moons became one anew, and time inexorably marched on. The day of departure has arrived for the heir of the Holy Paladin. In the skies above the airship, two moons rise listlessly, one ominously growing ever larger. Why has the Dark Harbinger returned? A new destiny has begun to unfold, and yet, as always, the crystals shed only their silent light. Theodore's Tale, The Last of the Red Wings. And we're starting off the same way. We're gonna go raid Masidia. Nah, I'm kidding. <laughs> and... Point. Captain Biggs, the Adamant Isle is in sight. Very good. You don't look well, Prince Theodore. I can tell you're nervous about this. After all, it is your first deployment. Try talking with some of the other soldiers to take off your mind off matters. Hi. Your father, King Cecil, achieved knighthood by passing this trial himself. Did you know that he actually served as captain of the Red Wings before becoming king? The Adamant Isle looks peaceful enough at first glance, I'll give you that. But there's this grotto there, a holy land of sorts. All knight trainees trained there at least once. Monsters don't play favorites. Royalty or peasants, they aren't picky about their prey. It's just as true for us Red Wings, too, I suppose. You may be the Crown Prince of Baron, but it means nothing here on this ship. The Red Wings are the pride of Baron, the most elite of our kingdom's forces. We may not be at war, but our training regimen is as fierce and grueling as always. We are currently on our way to the Adamant Isle, a very small landmass in the middle of the ocean. It is the staging ground for your initiation trial and becoming a knight, my lord. 
It goes without saying, of course, how overjoyed your father Cecil is to see you finally taking on this task. How are you feeling now, my lord? Better? I suppose so. I can certainly understand what you're, uh, uh, what you're going through, my lord. But considering your bloodline, there is nothing for you to be worried about. M my bloodline? Yes, my lord. You have inherited the blood of two great heroes. King Cecil the Paladin and Queen Rosa the White Mage. That doesn't mean anything. I'm just another soldier being tested for knighthood. Don't kid yourself, boy. You're no soldier yet. You're nothing but a squire. Joining the Red Wings isn't the easy lark it was back in King Cecil's day. I know that. That's why I'm here today, too. But Burnt Theodor! You've got a lot to learn, boy, starting with how to keep that mouth of yours shut. Ready to touch down on the Ottoman Isle, Captain. Good, all hands, landing station. Hey, we landed. Here's our stop, Sidor, the Adamant Isle. You are to report to the village of Mithril up ahead and await further orders. Got it? Yes, sir. Can't hear you. Say it lo like you mean it, boy. Yes, sir. Understood, sir. Poof. <laughs> as sorry as ever before. Now move out. Now what we're going to do... Okay. Equipment. Theodore only has attack. We want to get a couple levels on Theodore. Now this game is different compared to Final Fantasy IV. Game? Why is it when I want to get battles, I can't get battles? Oh, hello. Please don't petrify me. Ow. There we go. Hey, a phoenix down. Out of curiosity. Okay, it looks like I don't have the inventory cap I used to. That's good to know. No save data, got it. Come on. Oh wow, I'm already level four. Five? Okay. Just a couple more battles. Because I want to try going through this story with Theodore, or at least Theodore's chapter only as Theodore. So he's going to need a couple levels. Once I get my next level, I'll go ahead on into Mithril. Oh, a sword rat. Ow. Oh, good. All right, there we go. We're now level seven. So if you look, oh, 
Ah. I guess it doesn't show up yet. Your mission in this trial is to obtain the Knight's Emblem housed deep inside the Adamant Isle Grotto. But there is one condition, boy. You can't enter the grotto until the moon is at its fullest. You'd best get yourself ready before then, mentally and physically. Is there any reason why I have to wait for the full moon, sir? Ha! So you don't know about that either. This is going to be a long day, I'll tell you that. The light from the moon casts its effects upon all the creatures of our blue planet. No monster can escape from its influence, and neither can you, Prince Theodore. Black magic, white magic, even physical attacks are all affected by the phase of the moon. But remember this, the moon cycles between phases with the passage of time, my lord. You will need to adjust your battle tactics with the current phase to survive out in the field. What happens during the, a full moon? Black magic becomes stronger, but physical attacks are half as powerful. White magic is unaffected. So our swords become a liability during a full moon? Not necessarily. Our attack power is half, but that applies to monsters as well. What's more, my lord, you are gifted with white magic from Queen Rosa. If your tactics match the current moon phase, then you will never be at a true disadvantage in battle. Now then, perhaps we could stay at the inn until the full moon arrives. Um, I don't remember all this stuff. On a tent. Okay. Look around. A potion. There should be a ruby ring right here. That much I remember. The pig right there is looking for it. So you can either keep it or you can give it to the pig. You help our boss find his ring? Here you go. Hey, hey, this is my ring. You actually found it for me. Thanks a bunch, man. I feel like a new pig. Here's a little something for finding the ring. Go ahead and take it. Thank you. Now you can either keep that or... I don't need any of that. What do we have for weapons? Don't need any of that either. Yeah, good. Let's go stay at the inn. Yes. Full moon. Captain Biggs is waiting for you at the grotto. Please hurry. Late even to your own mission? Man, what a worthless squire they stuck me with. We're about to begin our journey into the Adamant Isle Grotto. Not to repeat myself, but your orders are to obtain the Knight's Emblem. If you want to cut and run like the spoiled little prince you are, now's the time. Oh, did that hurt, boy? Well, quit pouting and get, go get your provisions from those chests. A potion, a tent, an ether, and a phoenix down. Finally got some resolve in you, huh, boy? Get on with it, then. Captain Biggs and Wedge have joined the party. Okay. Hey. Loudmouth. Thanks for the gear. You're the one after the Knight's Emblem, aren't you? Well, keep your guard up there. Watch out! Um... <laughs> Here we go, Theodore! I imagine you're already aware of how the phase of the moon can affect you on the battlefield. It's full moon right now, so black magic is more powerful. White magic hasn't changed at all. But take a look at the commands. Physical attacks have been weakened by half. As you can see, the color of your commands changes to reflect the effects of the moon. Commands strengthened by the moon are displayed in green, while commands weakened are displayed in red. Make sure to pay attention to these colors during battle. They could have a major impact on the outcome of the fight.
Um, I don't remember. Next, I'll teach, tell you about band moves. A band is a type of powerful multi-person technique. You cannot perform a band with someone unless you have some kind of bond with that person. The bonds? Yes, my lord. Allow me myself and Captain Biggs to demonstrate. First, you must choose who you want to band with. Next, you choose the command your partner should execute. For this demonstration, Captain Biggs is my partner and he will select attack, setting off the band. What if Captain Biggs chooses something besides attack? Then the band would fail before it even began. Are you ready? Watch! When it's my turn, we'll press the right button to display the band command. Once you choose band, you'll have to select a partner. In that case, it would be the Captain Biggs. After that, once Captain Biggs' turns come up, select attack. With that, everything is set. All that remains is to press square and execute the band itself. Let's give it a try. Search for bands. Biggs, attack, band. What, boy, was that too fast for you to see? No. Successful bands will be recorded in your list of band moves. After that, you can execute the band at any time by choosing its name from the band list. Bands consume MP from every party member involved in them. Don't get cocky and blow all your MP at once. And with that, those two are dead. I wish I had a map for this game. Okay. Ether. What I'm actually going to do is take all that for a reason. Okay, Theodore, it's all yours from the here. Don't worry, Prince Theodore. Remember, you have the blood of King Cecil and that has nothing to do with it. Prince Theodore? Looks like you've got at least half a backbone in you. Get back here alive or forget about making the Red Wings. Well, no shit. Yes, sir. Biggs and Wedge have left the party. Good thing I stole Wedge's gear. That's gonna come into play later. Kill him, Theodore! Phoenix down. Hey, you gained a level. What level am I now? Nine. Nothing down there. Hi, goblins. Oh, I guess I should have updated this, huh? Sorry about that. Yeah, another ten. Oh, 
the... I swore there was a treasure hidden somewhere. It's been a while since I played. I just remember this cave had some hidden gear in it. I could be wrong. I drops. Oh. Bronze hourglass. That's gonna be useful. Go, Theodore, go! An alarm clock. Hey, I'm level 10 now. <laughs> I think you can see why I wanted to get Theodore up levels, though. High potion, okay. That's where I came from, though. Antarctic wind. He kills them before they even get one hit, so we're good here. Oh, never mind. I think I'm gaining all these levels, though. Echo herb. You're being mean now, I see, game. Let's just do that. Already level 11. <laughs> I should... Nope. Okay. <gasps> the Knight's Emblem. Emblem? Emblem. Man, pretty easy. Ding, ding. Come on, just die already. Or do that. Prince Theodore, are you hurt? Stay back, please. This is, this is my battle to fight. You don't have to push yourself so hard. My father and my mother have nothing to do with this. I... 
I... I'll get through this by myself! Theodore's latent potential has awakened. Awaken! And it's over. Yay! Theodore gained a level and learned Protect. Ooh. Obtain Knight's Emblem. Now, Protect it and Haste and all those spells are much more useful in this game. Theodore learned Awaken. Pop. Prince Theodore! Wedge! Kira! Thank you very much. Sorry about that. I knew you could do it, Prince Theodore. You have amazing powers hidden inside you. Now you're a full-fledged knight, my lord. We're leaving. Our work here is done. Captain Biggs and Wedge have joined the party. Pretty sure... nope. Oh yeah, that's right. The reason I'm doing this is so Theodore gets all the XP, and it isn't split between the three of them. Because Theodore needs some levels. Although Theodore has caught up the bigs. Nice MP, Theodore. Theodore is just dragging the bodies along with him. So Oops. But yeah, Theodore is the most important person in this party for levels. His stats are below Biggs and Wedge, so... So I'm going to steal Biggs's gear too. Nope, not that way. This way. This way. Dang it. Kill him, see it or
Please, game. At least if you're gonna give me a, a battle, make it e a, a good XP. Um, Wedge? Captain Biggs? Thank you. Thank you for everything. Captain Biggs. I expected nothing less from you, Prince Theodore. Huh? We must hurry to the airship. We'll get an earful if we're late again. Biggs has left the party. Why did he leave the... Biggs is tired of taking a nap, I guess. Before we go to the airship... Um... Too much. Okay. Now we can go to the airship. Congratulations, Prince Theodore. Are you ready to return to Baron Castle? Yep. How's it feel, Theodore? Sir? How's it feel to be a knight? Uh, I'm not sure what to say, sir. Of course you aren't. The knight's emblem is just a name. You risked your life in there for to obtain a mummified rat tail. Have you figured it out yet, boy? You don't become a knight just because you obtained the emblem. Retrieving it was simply a test of your resolve. You only arrived at the start of your journey. There is yet a long road ahead of before you truly belong to the Red Wings. Yes, sir. Amazing, Prince Sador. I can't wait to see you become a paladin and follow in your father's footsteps. I haven't made up my mind about becoming a paladin yet. Why not, my lord? With the blood from King Cecil and Queen Rosa, surely you could be... INCOMING ATTACK! Calm down, soldier. You call yourself a Knight of the Red Wings? But, but, Captain! We have monsters! Countless swarms of them! What? Here they come! Brace yourself, Theodore. Um. I just messed up. Kill him. Theodore, I said kill him! Thank you, Belphegor. Ow. Kill! Good. Now we can kill the Belphegor. Ow. Um, I should probably heal. I made a, might have made a mistake. Um, where's my high potion? Uh oh. Uh, Antarctic wind. I'm dead. I made a mistake. 
Okay, I'm gonna need Biggs and Wedge alive for that fight. Whoops. <laughs> Let's uh Did I take the gear off? Okay, both of them are missing their Bye Biggs. Come on. Go buy those Phoenix Stones real quick. Now, let's save right here. You. How's it feel? Yada yada. What is this? It reorganized my party? Dang! You know what? What? What a waste. Also, I'm glad I gave up on that last attempt because, wow, that would have taken forever with CNR. Theodore learned race. Yeah, how can there be so many of them? Smoke is coming from Baron's direction. From Baron? Full speed ahead! Prince Theodore! A, a large horde of monsters is headed this way. What? But their numbers were supposed to be dwindling. You stay here, Rosa. Protect Rosa for me. 
Yes, sir! Tesla. Don't worry about me. Just stay right here for me. Where are they coming from? We don't know, sir. There are so many of them. All of you, stay on your guard right here. Yes, sir. We'll guard the throne with our lives, sir. Um... Thanks, Cecil. What? Ding ding. Ding ding. Ow. Ding ding. They've already made their way inside the castle! Boy, he's down. Where's your crystal armor, Cecil? Cecil. Kill him already! Jeez. The castle's gate is secured, and yet monsters are within the keep. It's broken in one butt. But I want the treasure! Ugh, where are these monsters coming from? Hermes sandals, high potion, red fag. Ambushed! No! Cecil's armor looks a lot better now. Uh oh, a little is. Ow. Is this just game over? Oh, no. Nope. Use Kiro. Oh. There we go. Ding ding. Stop slapping me. Thank you. Okay, if it was her again. I was just gonna run. Oh. 
Ether. Ding ding. I don't know what that was. Bacchus wine. Ooh. My potion, Heavenly Wrath. So go kill. <laughs> oh, that was easy. King Cecil, get out inside the keep. It's too dangerous here. Yes, my liege. I'm crank, huh? Many gargoyles. Oh. Let's go this way! Are you dead? Are you okay? I- I'm sorry, my liege. Ding ding. Ow! Ding ding. Uh oh. Cecil! Rosa, I'm coming with you. No, you can't. I will not let you put yourself in danger. That's why I can't let you go alone, Cecil. A white mage by your side would allow you to concentrate in case of a fight, wouldn't it? Fair enough, but I want you to make me a promise. If worse comes to worse, I want you to run. Run and survive. And leave you to die? Yes, for Theodore's sake. Okay. White mage Rosa has joined the party. I'm gonna go ahead and... So that's why the monsters are coming from the sky! Cecil, look! The moon! Two moons?
Hmm. Is that gold business? Why now of all time? You're damn late, Cecil! What have you been doing this whole time? I'm glad to see you safe, Sid. Of course I am! I haven't slowed down that much, you know. What I'd like to know, though, is where these monsters come from out of the blue. I wish I knew. Where's Theodore? He's on an expedition with the Red Wings to obtain the Knight's Emblem. He ain't back yet? There's no need to worry. Biggs is there to take care of him. Well then, I guess we'd better do something about the place ourselves. Wouldn't want to spoil his celebration banquet. Engineer Sid has joined the party. No waning moon. What does that do for us? Um, ah, oh, there we go. Attack up Ninja Star down. Um, You know, kind of, I want the iron gear, I'm sorry. Hammer's two-handed. Why are there three beds here? This used to be C uh, Cecil's room, right? Does that mean they uh, C uh, Cecil, Theodore, and Rosa all sleep in the same area? I didn't need to use that. Oh well. Okay. The castle gate has not been breached. That means they must have flown in. Here they come. Band. Search for band. Sid. Analyze. Band. Um. Blessing. Machine break! Wow, that did a lot of damage. Also, it didn't take any of uh, Sid's MP. Band. Search for band. Rosa, white magic. Band. Holy blade! is MP, damn. Teleport. Cecil, these guys are like nothing we thought before. I mean, damn, are men already? I don't know if Rosie... There's just no end to this!
Ow, ow. Uh, band machine break. Ow, ow! Uh-oh. Did I fuck up? There we go. Whew! Recovered. Maybe. Machine break. God, why do you keep doing it the instant I... Grr. Every time I would inst... Ugh. Let me see. Okay. Let's try this again. Tarnation! Analyze band. And search for band. Rosa, white magic. Holy blade, ding. Kill them, please. Bonk. Teleport. Cecil, kill it! Kill it, Cecil! Nope. Uh, raise. There's just no end! Oh, come on! You know that game? Yeah, whatever. How much HP does this thing have? Good, it's dead. Sid and Rosa both Oh shit, we got the cockatrice summon! Ha! Sid, I've got a favor to ask. 
I'm listening. I want you to take Rosa and get out of the castle. Cecil? Aaron will fall before long if this continues. Cecil! Plan to go down with the ship? I'm staying with you. These are the king's orders, Rosa. Take care of Theodore. Ah, brother! He always has to be so darn stubborn! I'm counting on you, Sid. Please. Leave it to me. Just get, make sure you don't get yourself killed. Got it? Cecil. Rosa and Sid have left the party. Rosa, Theodore is in your hands now, my dear. Bahama? Rydia! Wait, no! So, you're Cecil. You know who I am? Beep, beep. Kill the Bahama! Hello? Muhammad? Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Blah! Mega Flare! Bye. So, this is the limit of a half-breed, as expected. This feeling, it couldn't be that my father... Maximum speed! I don't care if we blow the engine to pieces! We're already beyond maximum output, Captain! We, we've gone off course! Critical damage to the right wing! We've lost control! Ah -ha! Prince Sador! Oh, I accidentally... What? Why am all of a sudden? There's nothing to fear. What do you... What do you want? Your power. I am here to take it. We'll see about that. Bahamut is already under our control. The hollowed father of the Adelons? Who are you? The, the Tower of Babel! It's back! The Tower of Babel, it's... What? Red Wings. Oof. Oh.
What? Captain Biggs! Captain Biggs, you put your life on the line for me. If I, if I was more of a soldier, you wouldn't be like this right now. Wedge. Wedge! Hang, hang in there. Hey! Hey! He's dead. This one too. Captain Big. They're dead. All of them. Ugh. Ugh. Quick, cast cure on them. Huh? Prince Sador, you're unharmed, aren't you? Stop talking! I'll go find somebody to help! Help! Anyone! Sorry, I couldn't get you back to Baron safely. My prince, Captain Biggs. Now go, hurry, away from here. I can't do that, Captain Biggs. I, I'm still just a squire. You can expect me to. I can't do it on my own. Just a squire. We are the Red Wings, the pride of Baron. Must we now be thieves sent to plunder from the weak? Enough. But Captain, the Mesidians offered no resistance, and still we cut them down. Sador, listen to me. You must return to our beloved Baron, no matter the cost. This is my final order. Y yes, sir. Good. That's what it means to be a Knight of the Red Wings. Yes, sir. You are the last of the Red Wings, Sador. We, the Red Wings, are the greatest airship fleet in the skies, the pride of Baron. My orders are the law to you. I, Sador of the Red Wings of Baron, will now return to Baron, sir. And now, the reason I took that gear from uh, Cecil. Voila. All right, but with that, Eskonites, we're going to call this episode here. Hopefully you have enjoyed. If you have, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, Eskonites, share the love. Goodbye. Thank you guys for watching, and a huge thank you to my patrons. Without you guys, I wouldn't be able to make the content I do and do what I love to do. So thank you very much, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.